हाई एवरी वन दिस इज सामिज दिसट वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन माई चैनल आज के वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं टॉप टेन टेक जॉब प्रोफाइल्स के बारे में विच डू नॉट रिक्वायर एनी कोडिंग एट ऑल सो इफ यू आर समन हु इज रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू नो अबाउट द इंस एंड आउट्स ऑफ दिस जॉब्स वॉट आर द स्किल्स रिक्वायर्ड एज वेल एज वॉट ऑल थिंग्स यू नीड टू डू ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस देन यू हैव डेफिनेटली कम टू द राइट वीडियो ऑल द जॉब्स इट आर लिस्टेड हियर आर इन एब्सोलूटली हाई डिमांड नॉट ओनली दिस द ऑर्डर ऑफ द लिस्ट इज इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ कोडिंग रिक्वायर wired to do the job so definitely stick around till the end of the video if you are interested to know it before starting the like target of this video is 1.5000 likes so go ahead and smash the like button share this video among your friends and peers as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not already it will definitely help me a lot without further ado let's get started Before starting I have a very special message from Cryo. Cryo is one of the leading edtech platforms in the country which focuses on project based learning rather than video based learning. They have two amazing software development tracks. One is back end development track, the other one is full stack development track. Both of these tracks have amazing amazing industry grade projects which you will be building hands on and you can add them in your resume as well. Not only this you will get support from industry leading mentors teaching assistants as well as you will also get exposure to a lot of amazing latest technologies including AWS React Java Spring Boot Mockito and much more to get a glimpse of how projects are made in the industry you can get a 10% discount using the code somyajit i have given the link in the description below so go there and definitely check out the courses you can even avail a free week completely to see if it is for you and then definitely use the code somyajit to get a 10% off number 10 is data engineering data engineering ke bare mein aap sab ne suna hoga kafi up and coming field hai फ्यूचर प्रूफ है क्योंकि डेटा ही फ्यूचर है एंड फ्रॉम अ कॉम्पेसेशन परस्पेक्टिव एज वेल इट इज क्वाइट हाई योर डे टू डे रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज विल रिवॉल्व अराउंड क्रिएटिंग लार्ज स्केल डेटा पाइपलाइन दैट विल हैंडल पीटा बाइट्स ऑफ डेटा एंड मेक सेंस आउट ऑफ इट डेफिनेटली इसमें आपको थोड़ी सी कोडिंग नॉलेज तो जरूर चाहिए होगी बट नॉट टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ विच अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर रिक्वायर्स the coding knowledge that is required here is more geared towards database management systems sql and handling big data using hadoop and spark since yaha pe thodi si coding knowledge technical knowledge zyada chahiye hogi with respect to all the other job profiles in this list it has been ranked at number 10 number 9 is software development engineer in test also known as a test engineer as a test engineer your day to day responsibility will be to create testing pipelines to create those automation test cases that you will use to test out all the software all the development products that a software development engineer makes it is your responsibility to ensure that whatever goes to production is thoroughly tested using test frameworks and suits that you have written definitely is may bhi aapko thodi si coding knowledge to zarur chahiye hogi but it is quite less in comparison to what is required as a software development engineer or as a data engineer from a compensation perspective if you see there is some disparity in compensation in some companies the software development engineer in test is paid exactly same as that of a software development engineer however there are also certain other companies in which there is a huge disparity in the payment since there is good amount of technical knowledge that is required still this has been ranked at number 9 many of the companies are slowly and steadily reducing the number of sdets that are available in their workforce for example salesforce mein kafi had tak software development engineer in test ke role ko hata hi diya hai there the software development engineer in itself is expected to create those test suits so that they can write automation test cases for the application for the product that they are building number 8 is a support engineer as a support engineer your main responsibility is to support production applications to yahan pe aap se ye expect nahi kiya jayega कि आप 
भर भर के बैठ बैठ के सिर्फ कोड लिखोगे आपसे ये एक्सपेक्ट किया जाएगा कि यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोडक्शन एप्लीकेशन इन प्लेस एंड अगर उसमें कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स आते हैं कुछ बर्ग्स आते हैं या कुछ यूजर क्वेरीज आते हैं तो यू विल टेक द इनिशिएटिव टू रिजॉल्व दो बर्ग्स रिजॉल्व दो यूजर क्वेरीज डीप डाइव इन टू लॉग्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड की प्रॉब्लम क्या है एंड प्रपोज अ रेजोल्यूशन डेफिनेटली ये सारे रोल्स टेक्निकल है तो आपको इसमें सम अमाउंट ऑफ टेक्निकल नॉलेज तो जरूर चाहिए होगा फॉर श्योर बट येस योर डे टू डे रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी विल नॉट इनक्लूड कोडिंग फॉर श्योर इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज देर आर प्रोविजन अवेलेबल इफ यू डू वॉन्ट टू स्विच फ्रॉम अ सपोर्ट इंजीनियर टू अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर हर कंपनी का प्रोसेस स्विच का अलग होता है बट देर आर मैकेजम इन प्लेस टू बी एबल टू डू सो नंबर सेवन इज क्लाउड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट क्लाउड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट इज अ रोल विच इज गियर्ड जनरली टूवर्ड्स अ बिट एक्सपीरियंस प्रोफेशनल एंड डेफिनेटली फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रोल इफ यू हैव अ सर्टिफिकेशन एज वेल एज गुड अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द पब्लिक क्लाउड्स लाइक ए डब्ल्यू एस एस योर जी सी पी और ओ सी आई देन इट विल बी अूज प्लस एज अ क्लाउड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट यू डू नॉट रिक्वायर टू डू एनी कोडिंग एट ऑल योर मेन रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज टू हेल्प क्लाइंट्स हु विल बी बिल्डिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट हु विल बी बिल्डिंग देयर सोल्यूशन यूजिंग दिस पब्लिक क्लाउड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर दे कैन यूज वॉट काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स दे कैन यूज फ्रॉम दीज पब्लिक क्लाउड्स टू बिल्ड देयर प्रोडक्ट सो योर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज अ क्लाउड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट इज टू हेल्प योर क्लाइंट्स यूज द क्लाउड बेटर डेफिनेटली यू विल रिक्वायर अ वेरी इन डेप्थ नॉलेज ऑफ एनी ऑफ द पब्लिक क्लाउड्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट but yes it is a client facing role and you will be interacting with external clients day in and day out from a compensation perspective cloud solutions architect are definitely paid good amount of salary however it requires good enough experience in that particular domain to be able to command that salary number 6 is cloud support engineer it is another cloud based role however unlike the previous one even as a college fresher you can definitely go ahead and apply to become a cloud support engineer from a day to day perspective you would require a good amount of knowledge of any of the public clouds that is present aws gcp as your or oci not only this this is again a client facing role and you have to interface with a lot of clients on a day to day basis here your main primary job responsibility of a cloud support engineer is to help your clients who are using the public cloud to debug issues with their cloud infrastructure as a result you should absolutely have good amount of knowledge and hold on cloud services Number 5 is business intelligence engineer as a business intelligence engineer your day to day responsibility is to make sense of structured data that is available to you and derive meaningful insights with which you can help business you can help product teams you can help marketing teams to take appropriate decisions that can shape the future of business yahan pe you definitely require to have decent enough knowledge of a scripting language as well as a good enough knowledge of sql so that you can query the data that is available to you you can query the structured data and create meaningful reports out of it to help business take key decisions number 4 is a technical content writer technical content writer is mainly responsible to work closely with tech teams as well as business teams to understand the technical concepts that are present in place to apply their own understanding of technical systems and write meaningful and easy to understand documents that can be understood by even the most non technical person that is present here definitely you should have a command on your technical skills however you do not require any coding for that matter to be able to succeed in this job but definitely a good communication and writing skills matter number 3 is ui ux designer these are the guys who are responsible for anything and everything that we see on an application whenever we open an application and are like wow they have done an amazing job you need to thank these guys obviously they do not do any coding so to make things into reality we need to take help from front end engineers and software development engineers but yes 
they are the brains behind what we see typically they create these mockups using a tool that is known as figma and they send it over to the development team in order to develop these mockups they hold absolute knowledge about what all things we should be incorporating from a user experience point of view what all section should be there what kind of messaging should be given what kind of color scheme should be used so that the consumer engagement increases in your application from a compensation perspective they are definitely quite well paid and are in high demand across industry number 2 is product manager technical so product manager technical is another role where in you need to have a decent amount of experience before getting into this particular role here as a product manager uh, you are responsible for the success and the failure of the product you are the owner of that particular product and you drive any and every change that is required to make this particular product here you definitely do not code but you work closely with the engineering team to make your vision make the product a reality so you need to have decent enough understanding of the underlying technical concepts in order to understand the technical limitations that are present so that you can build a solid and robust product from a compensation perspective definitely a product manager technical has good compensation and great demand in the industry because of two things they do know the business as well as have a keen sense of the technical design powering those businesses so that they can make appropriate decisions number 1 is a technical program manager as a technical program manager you work extremely closely with the engineering team and act as a liaison between the engineering team and the product team you definitely have good amount of engineering knowledge because to crack into views of technical program manager you definitely require system design knowledge as well because system design is an important aspect of their interviews you should be having good amount of technical knowledge because that is only when you will be able to assist the product to make appropriate decisions from a business standpoint you own the delivery of the entire product not only this you also in certain cases are involved in doing user acceptance testing so that you can aid the engineering team in achieving their goals definitely as a college fresher you can get hired in this particular role unlike the product manager technical role the key difference between product manager technical and technical program manager is that technical program manager is primarily a technical person who does own the product or the program for its delivery however a product manager technical is primarily a product person who knows some amount of technical aspects and does not own the delivery but owns the business side of the product i really hope that you enjoyed learning about different job profiles that are present in the tech industry that do not require you know good amount of understanding of coding their interviews do not require dsa as well So if you are someone who is passionate to be a part of this tech revolution that we are in but do not have any interest in coding per se these are the job profiles that you can target definitely they are in huge demand as well as provide you with good salary I really hope that you like this content and were able to understand the ins and outs of different kind of job profiles that are available in the industry. If you want any, you know, dedicated video about any job profile then do comment down below and I will try to make that happen. Not only this as my next video I am planning to share my journey in the software engineering field as an SD1 then as an SD2 and then subsequently becoming a software development manager I would like to share all the learnings that I had all the skills that I picked up that has helped me do this transition here uh let me know if you are excited for that one as well the like target of this video is 1.5000 likes so smash the like button share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to the channel if you have not already it really means a lot this is somya jit bidding goodbye das vidanya